Welcome everybody to my new tutorial video. Today I will show you during this video how to turn on the LED on STM32 FR Discovery Board using EIR Embedded Workbench IDE. Later in next video I will show you how to toggle the LED using the Cystic Timer. If you didn't see yet my last video of how I setting up the EIR IDE for STM F4, please click right now on the right top corner. I will explain it how to configure the project. So uh, right now we will continue with the, the old uh, project that we done uh, previously in uh, the in, in the previous uh, tutorial video. So here uh, you have to download uh, this system STM32 F4 uh, uh, source file. Uh, the link is in the video description below. So you have to download it and you copy this in your place under uh, the, uh, the project directory. You're going to place this uh, file. Uh, it's, uh, this file is already configured uh, with the, the high speed clock, which is 168 MHz. So I don't want to complicate the tutorial. It's already done. Uh, the second step to do, uh, we're gonna, you have to go to the ST website. You're looking for STMF4 Discovery and you click all and you go down to download the schematic uh, pack file. Uh, here he is. The file is uh, the schematic for uh, the discovery board. The second file you have to download, uh, you have to look for the STM32F4 07 VG microcontroller. You go down till you found the product specification and you download this file. Here is this file. This file are mandatory in our uh, project. Uh, so uh, our project is divided in two parts. In first part, I will show you how to turn on the LED without using the discovery uh, source file, discovery firmware. And in the second part, I will show you how to turn on the LED using the discovery uh, firmware function. Okay, let's move on. So here we are uh, in our uh, first uh, part. So before coding, we have to check in which pin the LED uh, on the discovery board are connected with the microcontroller. So we open the first uh, PDF file and uh, we uh, go uh, to the end, the last pages. And here we have our four LED. The LED 4, 3, 5 and uh, 6 on the discovery uh, board. Uh, all are connected to the board PD for D, GPIO D. So we're gonna turn on the LED 6, which is uh, connected with the pin uh, 15 of the POR D. So uh, we open uh, the second uh, PDF file. So here in the device overview, page 18. So here we notice uh, that every peripheral here is uh, connected uh, to a specified uh, clock. Uh, so for example, the timer 9, timer 10, timer 11, user 1, user 6 is connected to the APB 2, which frequency, uh, max frequency can reach 84 megahertz. The uh, timer 2, timer 3, timer 4, 5, and the E2C watchdog is connected to the APB1 uh, with the frequency, uh, maximum frequency can reach 42 megahertz. And last, the uh, GPIO port A2I uh, is uh, connected to the AHB1, which uh, the maximum frequency is at 1. Uh, 68 megahertz so before using every peripheral we have to uh, enable uh, his clock so we go back to our uh, IDE here so uh, to turn on uh, the AHB1 for uh, this uh, for the port D so we have to add it uh, to go to uh, microcontroller um, SD perif driver right click on it again we we'll add the RCC source file right click edit file go to the desktop uh, go to the driver uh, here the library go to STM32F4 SCD pair of driver go to source file and we're gonna select the RCC where is it the RCC the RCC is responsible for activating the um, the clock and managing the clock okay so we add the RCC and we go to the project directory and uh, we check the conf header file if it's enabled or uh, not yes of course it's enabled so um, here uh, we uh, open uh, this uh, here, source file. So before we click on uh, the 
windows and we no not click on window and uh, select a new vertical uh, this one and you put here the source file we put it here to be more organized and uh, we uh, come um, here uh, the source file we have all the function of the rcc of the clock and everything so uh, you have uh, you can uh, click on this icon and here we have uh, all uh, the function so uh, what we're gonna need we're gonna need to the ahb1 for our port d so we're gonna activate the ahb1 so we click here and we're looking for rcc ahb1 perifer clock command cmd okay uh, this is our function here uh, this function enable or disable the ahp peripheral clock so uh, here this function have two parameter parameter one and parameter two the parameter one the rcc ahp perifer uh, perif specify the ahp peripheral to gate its clock so here we have all the peripherals that we can uh, enable uh, his clock so uh, the first thing to do we copy this uh, function and uh, we paste here and uh, we we remove ev everything here inside and we're gonna do a comment here uh, enable the gpiod clock okay here the first parameter uh, is the uh, rcc ahb uh, we're gonna choose the rcc ahb1 perif gpiod we copy this first parameter and uh, the second parameter is a uh, new state new state of the specified peripheral clock this parameter can be enabled or disabled we're going to enable this so we copy enable and we paste now we finish uh, with uh, our uh, uh, enabling the clock for the power d now we move on to the uh, gpio uh, configuration now for uh, the gpio configuration we have uh, to select the std perif driver and we're gonna add the gpio source file so select added, added file we go to the gpio where is it the gpio here and we click open here we have our gpio uh, source file now uh, we check the conf header file if it's uh, enabled uh, yes of course it's enabled so uh, we close this and here we open the uh, um, not rcc the gpio and we're looking for the function here we have uh, not a lot function here so we go to the gpio init for initialization a brief description here the uh, this function initialize the gpio peripheral according to the specified parameter in the gpio in its structure so uh, the gpio the first parameter the gpio x and the gpio in its structure so we copy this uh, function before here and we remove this and we write here gpio d configuration so uh, we're looking for the first parameter is gpio x uh, where x uh, can be a to i so we're gonna copy this and we paste it here and uh, replace the x by the d uh, this gpio in struct is a pointer to a gpio any type def structure that contain the configuration information for the specified gpio peripheral so it's a new thing uh, for us it's a structure so uh, to move to found this structure we select the gpio in it in it uh, type def right click on it and uh, select go to the definition of GPIO in type def. So here we uh, go to the header file of the GPIO. Now here we have the structure of uh, of uh, uh, the 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 inside of the structure. Uh, here uh, the structure have uh, five element inside: GPIO pin, GPIO mode, GPIO speed, GPIO O type, GPIO. PUPD. So we're going to declare if, uh, a new variable. So here we copy here before this function, copy GPO any type def. Uh, the name of this uh, we're going to call them GPO in struct like this. 
and uh, we're gonna insert the, all the element inside the, of uh, inside this uh, tractor. So uh, we copy this and we paste, and we're gonna add the first one, the GPIO pin. We select the GPIO pin, and uh, here this parameter can be any value of reference GPIO pin define. So we're gonna found this define. We select this and we copy and we're gonna found this uh, in uh, this file found next here here he is here we have uh, to choose between one of this so uh, we're gonna turn on the led as we can as we saw before turn on the led six so the, the pin number 15 so we're gonna select the p gpio pin 15 and uh, we paste it right here so now uh, let's move on to the second element inside the uh, structure which is uh, the GPIO uh, mode GPIO mode GPIO mode so um, this parameter can be a value of uh, GPIO mode type def so we uh, do again we select this we copy and we're gonna found in this file the GPIO mode type def can be in out alternate alternate function mode or analog mode so we're gonna choose the out GPIO out and we put here now we go back uh, to our structure uh, we're gonna found the third element so we copy this and we paste and we're gonna found the speed we're gonna looking for the speed right now so the speed uh, specify the speed for the select pin this parameter can be a value of reference gpio speed type def so we copy this and we're gonna found this type so here is the type so here we have four speed two megahertz 25 15 and uh, 100 uh, megahertz so we're gonna choose 15 megahertz so we copy this and we paste right here now we finish with the, the last uh, element inside the structure the gpio pu pu pd we copy this and we select the pu pull up pull uh, no we missed one the o type we're gonna select the o type the o type uh, specify the operating output type for the select pin it can be this uh, reference so we found this one here it can be pull up pull down or open drain we're gonna select pull up pull down uh push pull uh, i'm sorry push pull normally push pull we select this and we go for the last one the gpo pull up pull down we select this and we do the same operation pull up pull down we select the gpo pull up pull down and we found this in this file here we have three choice no pull or pull up or pull down we're gonna choose pull up now we finish uh, with our structure we come back to uh, the GPIO uh, source file so we're gonna add the second word GPIO in extract so we copy uh, the GPIO in extract and we paste here but uh, be careful uh, here in the description of the parameter number two here uh, they uh, write a pointer to a GPIO any type def. You have to be, uh, be careful because he say a pointer. So we're gonna add the, the end to uh, I'm sorry this end to specify the address of our of our uh, of the GPIO in extract. So last thing to do, we uh, gonna turn on the led we configure we have our configuration is uh, over we turn on the led so we go to the gpio source file and select this function and we go directly to set bit here uh, this brief description set the selected data per bit this function use gpio we don't care about this we don't care only by by the parameter so we copy this function and we paste it here here we are gonna write G P I O D pin 15 on okay so now the first parameter can be GPO X so we're gonna 
copy this and we paste the first parameter here. We're gonna select the port D and the second parameter uh, is uh, the GPO pin. This parameter can be any combination of the GPO X where X can be zero from 15. Okay, we delay this and we paste here. We're gonna select the 15 of our LED 6 PD 15 here. Uh, and now we finish, we try to compile uh, uh, this, rebuild all, I hope we don't have uh, any problem, that's okay, so uh, we have no error, no warning, so uh, we download in our uh, STM32F4, and here the LED uh, the uh, the blue LED is on, so we can uh, we can um, change the uh, LED. Uh, for example, we choose the LED uh, the P the LED five PD fourteen. It's quite simple. We go here change fourteen, and here change fourteen, and we uh, download again. And the LED, uh, the red uh, LED is uh, on. Now we we'll finish with our uh, first part. Uh, now we move on to our second part. Here we are in our uh, second part, uh, which I will show you how to do this work using the uh, discovery uh, driver uh, firmware. So uh, we select this driver and uh, we open it. Here we have um, we uh, check this uh, driver. Here we have uh, six function. So uh, we're gonna replace uh, the GPO configuration by uh, the uh, which one the LED in it. Here uh, this function here you can uh, notice that uh, we use the same thing. So uh, we uh, select we copy the STM eval LED in it and we copy and we delete this and we paste right here. So uh, here we have uh, to configure the LED. We're gonna select the LED uh, number six. We're gonna write here the lab number six, and then uh, we go to the LED on function, and we're gonna remove uh, this. And uh, where is it? The LED on here. The LED on. We're gonna put this here, and uh, we're gonna uh, copy the LED six, and we paste it right here. Okay, now we try this uh, this out. It worked fine. We noticed that uh, the discovery um, the discovery source file simplify uh, the work a little bit. So that's all for my tutorial. If you enjoy watching my video and find it interesting, please click on the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to check my website. You can watch my next video uh, of toggling LED uh, by clicking on the right top corner. And uh, if you want to see how to hack my HD brushes motor, please click on the left top corner. See you next time. Bye bye.